Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Joe Alvarez, and today I want to do a review of Splice.com. If you don't know what Splice.com is and you're a producer, you need to go there, like, not now, but right now. This thing is off the chain. Splice.com is essentially a producer's community slash sound where you can get sounds and and you can rent to own plugins as well as join competitions so that you can be heard by by labels and artists who are already on and doing what they got to do so let's start by just starting at the main page once you sign up you can uh sign up for different subscriptions let's just look at that real quick the first um update sound plans that you have available are right here and to begin with it sounds kind of weird like you say i'll only get 300 samples for 14 dollars a month it doesn't sound like it's worth it right you say that's that that's not a lot of sounds, but if you want to get a thousand, you can get up to a uh, thousand sounds a month for 30 bucks. But here's the catch, right? These credits roll over. And so if you find the thing about splice.com is that they have very high quality sounds. So you're destined to find a lot of good sounds without having to go into your credit bank. Like for me, I already have, boom, let's see, my credit. I go to sound, I have 5,853 credits stored up. So that means I can download, depending on the credit size of the sounds, which are typically just one credit per sound, I can download up to almost 6,000 sounds. So it's definitely worth it because of the rollover credits per month. All right, anyway, let's go back to the interface. I just went off on a little rant, you know, I got to do that sometimes. So when you first start out, when you first join and you log and you uh, install Splice, Splice will install right here on your little dock station, which is the new thing for all the online in the cloud type of programs. And you have this interface right there. And it allows you to see three essential things your studio your sounds and your plugins the studio is designed to you can sync projects with other users and so you can share different pro projects uh, you can share the same project with different users and you guys can work on it and then send it back to each other and then open it in logic or or ableton whatever program that you're using your sounds is where everything is stored accordingly so you have your library and then you have your instruments your packs your genres your likes your repacks and all of your downloads so if you just want to go to instruments and everything you downloaded is going to be stored by section so you have your drums your effects your vocals all that good stuff you just click on drums then you have your tag it automatically tags it for you so if i'm just want to look at kicks i could just press right here and highlight it and i can just hear all my kick sounds i can even go according to the style say kick bass Boom, I got my kick bass, the kind of 808 styles and all that good stuff. Boom. Just go back. Now, the neat little thing about, um, about Splice is that they automatically create a folder for you here. And then it categorizes your sounds according to the sound pack. So they'll keep everything nice and organized for you here. The other cool thing about it, right? Say you have Logic Pro X up and running and you have your battery and you wanna just grab quick sounds and just, instead of going to that folder, you just wanna grab it right from here. So say you want that kick there, you just click and drag, boom. Say you want that snare and Take another snare, 
click and drag. So you just, instead of having to scroll through the folders, this bad boy kind of stays on top and you're right there. All right. So that's the convenient part about splice.com. Now let's look at the sounds. Boom. On the wrong thing. All right. So studio is self-explanatory. You can collaborate with new projects, have new projects in a, you can actually have the projects um, saved in the cloud from Splice so then you can share them easily, you know, to your friend. I did a, a project with a friend about two years ago um, by Blind Beats. And then you can have your solo projects categorized. You can have your collaborations projects categorized. And then with, if you join like a splice competition, um, you can have all your splice projects right here. Community is about active contests and contests of the past. So if you click on the active contest, it will show you all the stems that it's going to give you. It will tell you all the rules. It'll tell you the prizes that you can win, and then you can listen to the most popular entries, or you can see all the entries, and then you can see the comments, you can post a link, you can do all that good stuff. Sounds, that's really the meat and potatoes of what I use. Um, sounds, you can look up all types of sounds. You can look up the overview from the recent sounds, the artist packs, um, it's going to be made. They categorize it according to the different energies and different vibes of that month. Um, world percussions, movements. But let's say you're looking for a specific sound. Say I want to do like some 90s hip hop. So I just type 90s hip hop. Boom. And it will just come up with all the different classic packs, all the packs from that category. You can scroll and just listen to all the sounds that it comes up from the different packs. Or I can just say, click on classic 90s. That's actually 90s house. But I can click on, say, hip hop and soul guitar. And I'll just play straight through. <laughs> So say I like that, I'll just come over here. I use one credit to download it. Boom, I wait till it downloads because it'll turn that green color. And then I'll just go to splice up here. Boom. And then my recently added folder uh, section will show up the latest the, uh, sound that I just downloaded. And it'll just be as quick as dragging this bad boy right to my DAW. Move that out the way. And it's right there. Then I can chop it up, play with it the way I want to. And it's all said and done. And then the last section we have here is the plugin section. Splice is pretty cool because it's starting a rent to own plugin uh, section. So if you've been one in Serum but you can't afford it, it'll let you rent it for uh, $9.99 a month up until you pay it off. And you can even try it for free for three days. And then you're gonna pay as you go they also have punch box which is real cool ozone 8 they they did themselves when they did this this is crazy it's 27 dollars a month but it's also highly worth it um, my also favorite here is the d16 effects bundle for seven bucks a month and they keep adding on they don't have that much of a selection to rent to own but um they, they're adding on i think and i think i think they, they're doing pretty good um and they also have new rent to own products. They have the movement output, which is a pretty cool effects module. And they also have some free plugins as well. They have the top plugins. They can tell you what's what, what's going on. 
and let's see here they have more plugins and I believe they also sell plugins too I haven't I haven't bought a lot of plugins from splice.com themselves but they sell all these plugins that you're looking at here just as a pay model we just just pay and you have of course like splice always does they have a whole bunch of categories you can browse through your plugins you can see it through the charts you can rent own all that good stuff a lot of the times producers are probably going to spend a lot of time on sounds category where you can just browse and overview and and see all types of uh just sounds and and stuff like that so if you're thinking you want to get into splice and you're a new producer or you're just a producer who wants new sounds and fresh sounds i mean to me this is one of the best sound libraries out there uh, they do it does work on a credit system like most sound uh, libraries do nowadays but it's well worth it because you can easily start stacking up those credits especially if you're selective about the sounds you download now if you start downloading kits um entirely but you're only using like one or two sounds and you might run out of credits pretty fast but the splice is designed just for that to splice sounds not to take the whole kit just to take what you need give it a go use it and then bam you're done so if you like what you're seeing just hit that subscribe button hit that like button i really appreciate you and i'm gonna catch you next time peace